Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Elwood Schapansky, and we've had physics on the farm, physics in the shop, physics in the classroom, and today we're going to have a little physics in the kitchen. I'm trying to find some of the really interesting, fun things to do with physics, and one of them is to deal with atmospheric pressure, period. We live in a sea of air, and the air exerts a great deal of pressure on our bodies. In fact, I have cut this stick so that it's one inch on a side, and atmospheric pressure is such that there is 14.7 pounds pushing down on this square inch. It's also pushing down on our body, but we don't feel it because there is air inside our body and outside of our body, so we don't feel that force. But the force is tremendous. If we were to multiply this by 144 to find the pressure on one square foot, it would be about this size, and it would be the same as an elephant stepping down on your chest. It would be over 2,000 pounds of pressure pushing down here. So I want to illustrate that for you. And over here, I have a bathroom scale. And if I take the bathroom scale and place this uh, stick here and take this weight and put it down, I read 9.5 pounds. So there is 9.5 pounds of pressure exerted right over this tiny area, 9.5 pounds per square inch. If I would put 14.7 pounds per square inch, pounds up here, it would be 14.7 pounds, and that is the pressure of atmospheric pressure. Okay, what's fascinating about this is that if we remove the pressure, if you could put a vacuum hose in your mouth and suck all the air out of your body, you would be crushed to death. And in the old days, there was no such thing as a vacuum pump. So the way the people got a vacuum was very interesting. They used the fact that water exists in three phases. We have ice, we have liquid, and if we boil the water, we have steam. So if I put a little piece of ice in here and turn the heat on, eventually we will have steam flowing out of the top of this can. Let's just watch it. I'll put a little bit more water in there so we have something to work with. Okay, we're just going to, whoa, we're just going to let that sit there until we have an active flow of steam coming out of there. So the heat is converting the ice to liquid. The liquid is boiling and that becomes steam. And when steam comes out of here, it will push all of the air out of the can. There will only be water in the form of steam. The interesting thing about this is, is if I have another pan of water here and turn this upside down quickly into here, all of the water inside the can, the steam, will convert back to liquid and it won't take up much space and therefore it will, in fact, become a vacuum inside the can. And once we see the vacuum inside the can, you, it will be very clear uh, what the effect of air pressure can be on something. I can see a little bit of steam here. I think I've boiled most of it. I'm going to try this. There's a little bit of steam coming out. And there, it worked perfectly. Look what happened to the can. The can was crushed completely and entirely from atmospheric pressure. The water in the can turned into steam. The steam pushed the air out of the can. And when I put it back in here, it immediately turned the steam back into water, which didn't take much space, which created a vacuum inside, which would let the outside air pressure completely crush the can. Now, isn't science wonderful? Thank you for watching.